Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Wire, and today we have another original paracord bracelet tutorial. We're gonna be making what I like to call the Java Chip Paracord Bracelet. Yes, that is what I'm naming this bracelet. Before we get started, I just wanna go ahead and mention thank you guys so much for 2,900 subscribers. That's a lot of people to subscribe to my channel. And we're almost at 3,000, obviously, so if you have not subscribed yet, then go ahead and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. Also, I'm gonna be adding this bracelet to my store, so if you guys wanna purchase this bracelet and you don't wanna make it, or if you actually just wanna purchase the cord for this bracelet, the exact cord and buckle that I'm using, will be linked in the description and you can buy that from my store. It is just uniformwire.com. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're gonna need about four feet of white 550 paracord and seven feet of obsidian 550 paracord. You're also gonna need a 15 millimeter buckle. Like I said, if you wanna purchase the exact ones I'm using in this video, there will be links in the description. So you're just gonna go ahead and take your four feet of white cord and find the center point of that and run it down through the buckle. And you're just gonna do a regular cow's hitch, so pull those two strands through that loop. Then you're gonna wrap those two cords around and pull them down through the other side of the buckle. This is similar to the double cow's hitch method, but it's a little bit different and I think it looks pretty cool. So you're basically just gonna do a regular cow's hitch, go to the other side, do a double cow's hitch, and then just wrap the cords up on the other side if that makes any sense. So you're just gonna try that around your wrist. You're gonna leave a little bit of space, maybe a little bit more than I left here. Then you're gonna try to make sure those two two cords are even. And as you can see here, I just throw in a, I think it's like a folder or something. It's just a blue folder, so that way you can see the white so it doesn't blend in so much with the background. And then you're gonna do a double cow's hitch. So go ahead and take your back left strand and pull it in between the two middle strands and off to the left side. And then you're gonna pull it up through the back of the buckle and down through that loop. Go ahead and tighten that. When you tighten this, you wanna tighten it here with that first loop like I show, and then tighten that other strand. That'll just make it a little more secure. Make sure you keep those two strands the same length. And then you're going to grab the back right strand and pull it between the two middle strands and off to the right side. And you're gonna pull that strand up through the back of the buckle. and then down through that loop. Like last time, you're gonna wanna tighten that first top loop there and then tighten the extra slack out of that part. And then you just have two cow's hitches here. And you're just gonna run those two cords down through the other buckle. Try to make sure those four strands are all the same length. Then go ahead and loosen that cow's hitch.
and you're gonna take your left strand, pull it over the very left middle strand, and then down through that cow's hitch loop and off to the back of the buckle. Then you're gonna do the same with the right side, so go ahead and take your back right strand, wrap it over the right middle strand, and then down through that cow's hitch loop. Then go ahead and tighten all of those strands, try to make sure they're all the same length. And then tighten those loops at the end and make sure they're not going around the buckle. You want them to be under the buckle. Once you make sure all those four strands are the same length, you're just gonna to wanna to clip those two strands and cinch those. When you do this, try to make sure it is flat because it will be on the inside of the bracelet, so you don't want it to be obnoxious to wear. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this blue background because we are done with the white cord. So go ahead and grab your obsidian cord and just cut both the ends of that and then gut that cord. So that means you're just gonna pull out the seven inner strands. Then you're just gonna go ahead and burn the end of that so it doesn't fray. When you singe that, you're gonna to wanna to kind of flatten it because for this braid, you want the cord to be flat. Then you're just gonna pull it across those four middle strands there and then wrap the long side around the back and in between those two left strands. And you're just gonna pull that up towards you and then across to the right side. As you can see here, I just go ahead and reclip the other end of the strand at an angle so I can put it into a fid. When I use a fid with gutted cord, I usually use like a medium sized fid if you happen to have one. You honestly don't need one for this braid, it just helps. You can use hemostats though, it's just slower. And then you're just gonna pull that cord down between those two right white strands. And you obviously want that to be on the very top. And so basically what you'll notice we're doing is you have the one first strand that's going over the center four strands and you're just gonna make an X basically around that strand and then go on to the next one. That's kind of the whole premise of this braid. You wanna try to make sure there are no twists in the cord. You want the cord to lay flat throughout this whole pattern. And then you're gonna pull that long cord between those two right white strands and up towards yourself, and then kind of off to the left side, finishing that X. Then you're gonna take your fit and run it down between the two white strands on the left. Once again, make sure the cord is all flat. Go ahead and tighten that. Make sure you pull that up towards the top. Then you're just gonna take your long cord and wrap it around the very left side of the bracelet and go across the four middle strands just as we did in the beginning. So then take that long strand and wrap it around the back and up between those two left strands. So once again, this is the first part of the X. And then you're just gonna take your fit and run that cord down between those two white strands. And then take the cord and pull it between those two white strands again, going around the center strand of this X. And you're just gonna pull it across 
and over to the left side and kind of hold that in place. When you pull that cord through there, you want it to go under the back of that first cord that's coming from the first X, if that makes any sense. You basically want to point it down towards your hand when you pull the FID through. Although obviously don't stab your hand with the FID because that would not be a very good idea. You just want to pull that towards the top. And then repeat the same thing. So pull that cord across the four middle strands. Behind the three middle strands, up between that last strand there, then pull it towards the right. And then take your fit and run that cord down through that top right kind of space between the two white cords. And pull it around that middle strand and off to the left side. Once again, as you can see here, I kind of point the fit down for the first part till I get around that cord, and then you can move it up so you don't stab your hand, and then pull it through the back there and finish tightening that. So you're just gonna continue doing this until you get down to the bottom. When you get down to the bottom, you're just gonna wanna take that last strand and circle it around the very left white strand just to kind of fill in that extra white space at the bottom, and also you want this cord to be going towards the back of the bracelet, obviously. So you just want to tighten that and then clip that cord and singe that. You don't have to burn it for too long, especially because it is gutted cord. It will burn a lot faster. And then go back towards the top. Then go to the top of the bracelet and you're just going to want to take that short strand and pull it down under that first loop there. Make sure that is nice and tight and then go ahead and clip that cord and singe that. And obviously you want to flatten that also so it is nice and smooth. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, sorry for this video being a little late, but I think it, the bracelet itself turned out to be pretty nice. So if you did like it, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.